You enjoy your <sighs> meal. It was very tasty, even if it was a bit strange. <laughs> They're not even gonna tell me what I'm eating. You see a platter, you That's just serve so food. That's so annoying. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I wanted to know what the, the weird cuisine is. Yeah, this is no Cat's Tale, and What a shame. I'm telling you, I really loved hearing all the different food. I did too! If you have need of magic, I shall be honored to serve you, Kresha. Laws of Tarna. Thou shalt harm none. Thou shalt not use magic upon the streets of Tarna. Thou shalt not take that which is not thine. Thou shalt behave with honor. Easy, right? So I always thought shouts um, was negative, but I guess that it, it's always thou shalt not, so. Yeah. I guess it's just old timey mm -hmm. language. Thou shalt behave with honor. Nice try, Rakesh. <laughs> <laughs> Potions, pills, and positivity. Visit the apothecary for all your health needs. Good vibrations and potations for everyone. You need it? We got it. See us in the bazaar, the newly used emporium of irregular antiques and interesting items. Now, I assume the the um, like cycle or whatever of days is not as bad here. Like, if I just went to sleep, would I be okay, or...? You've got oh, plenty of control over uh, the passage of time in this game. Uh, so if, if you, you go, go to the your end, special yeah. menu... This one? The one next to your... Yeah, oh. the one next to your magic, and click on time okay. of day. You can actually see that oh, the sun wow. is setting on day one. Oh, oh god. I wish I wish they would just say. It's not quite as clear to me as I would have liked. Because mm -hmm. the sky is all blue, you know? Let me get my money changed so people stop treating me like a weirdo. Are you ready for a pop culture reference, Suha? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oops. There we go. Oh, I'm so used to having to replace my stuff. David, okay. which one do you want to get? Pops or the sun? Uh, the sun. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hello, young man. You look like you could use some of our mostly new items. Bob, these items aren't new. You know that. I didn't say they were new, dummy. I said they were mostly new. In the world of sales, you gotta learn to accentuate the positive. Is this Sanford and Son, or...? Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> In other words, lie. I didn't say that. You want to blow this sail? Just you listen and keep your mouth shut. Are they allowed to do this? No. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, we have the finest selection of mostly new items in the land of Tarna. What can I sell you? How come they didn't get in trouble? You know how many lawsuits Sierra had? <laughs> you there, you gonna buy something or am I gonna have to charge you for sightseeing? Oh wait, here, let me... You greet the junk dealers. Hello. What can we sell you today? You put your thumb upon your nose with your hand held perpendicular to your face and fingers outspread. Then you wiggle your fingers while crossing your eyes and patting your belly, just as you were taught in the famous adventurer's correspondence school for thieves. The two men turn and look at each other for a second. Then the older man twirls his finger by his head and they look back at you. Okay. You know, you could just you could just say you don't get it. Like you don't have to be mean. What's this, dummy? Don't you have Oops. any real money? Why am I wasting my time to sell you something when you don't have anything to buy it with? Should visit the money changer, stranger. He is just north of here. Oops. Get some real money before you waste my time again. All right, I gotta go do that, I guess. A most glorious and lovely day, kind sir. Can I sweeten your life today? I don't know, buddy. You'd sell me. <laughs> oh, honey. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let me just let me just get my the money, money changer, fixed. The money changer is the other way. Oh, they said. Oh, I'm sorry. North, I, north yeah. of here. Yeah. So, north. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm sightseeing. Thank you. Oh. What the? Here is the finest of daggers. It too is made of Damascus steel. It too is sharper than a serpent's tooth. It is small enough to be concealed up your sleeve to be ready when your foe least expects it. I have, without a doubt, the best weapons for sale in all of Tarna. If you will be needing a weapon, I am the man you should see. Come take a look and buy what you'd like. 
Did I miss anything with that first one? No, he was just saying that he's the weapon seller. Okay. Oh, that must be the money changer there. You enter the north end of the bazaar and witness a dispute. What are you doing? That's not right. Oh, stop him. Thief, thief. Save your game. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, just make your save. I saved right before, but all right. <laughs> it's like, not my problem. <laughs> fruit. Oh, fruit. fruit. The fun is the fruit. Does your mouth not crave the sweet juices of a passion fruit, a fendi? No, not right now. I don't think that a save there really is casually. gonna be super helpful. Oh, there he is. Please accompany us to the Hall of Judgment. Did I mess it up? This is uh, optimal. Um, you can. There's other ways to try and handle that situation. You said this is optimal, or it's not. This would like just following him uh, gives you the most points. Although the role play solution would be to switch to running. Oh, oops. the council, the of, council judge of judgment. Oh, go ahead, Suha. So sorry. Oh my God, Hara you Harami have broken the laws of Tarna by taking mm -hmm. things belonging to others. You've shown yourself to be without honor. Do you have anything you wish to say before you are named honorless? Well, Your Honor, I can't help it. My parents literally named me Robber. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Harami. Hey, big deal. Yeah. And by the judgment of the council and the laws of Tarna, you, Harami, are now formally named Honorless. So you have acted. So you shall be. The Honorless One must leave the hall. <laughs> All right. See ya. Is Harami actually just robber? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not kidding. The Council, the Council of Judgment now summons the Prince of Shapir. That is so funny. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> the Council of Judgment wishes to thank the Prince of Shapir for acting as a witness in the trial of the Honorless One. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Can I catch him myself? Uh, you have some things you can do, but they generally, if you violate any of the laws of Tarna, they're pissed at you. Oh. King Raja orders Rakesh and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. David, Raja? You may enter into the presence of Raja Sa Tarna. Raja Sa Tarna, I stand before you. Rakesh Satarna, you stand before me in honor. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend, the Prince of Shapir. Whatever. <laughs> oh. You tell the king that you are honored to be in his presence. Prince of Shapir, you stand before me in honor. <laughs> Rakesh, you brought along this Prince of Shapir to help you bring peace. Uh, how can a human be of such service to a Liontar? You, puny human, how will you aid Rakesh? Rakesh has called you, uh, <laughs> has called you a spy. <laughs> Do you think you can sneak around and watch the Leopard Men without being discovered? What the fuck happened to you stand before <laughs> me in honor? Excuse me. <laughs> you puny, slithery, snake-like human. You answer Raja's <laughs> question. Very well. <laughs> So, this Prince of Shapir has come to bring <laughs> peace and harmony to Tarna. I kind of thought we were, like, getting off on a good foot here, and now all of a sudden I feel like you're disrespecting me? You grow too old, Rakesh, if you must depend upon a human for help. Your age has made you cowardly and taken away your honor. Okay, I'm going to need you to, to not run your mouth about my buddy Rakesh here. <laughs> he might be from here, but I'm not. Uh, keep in mind, Raja is Rakesh's brother. Ah, fuck! The truth of what has happened to Rishaka has not been determined. When I know for certain about Rishaka, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Okay, but I think you should get revenge. <laughs> revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. Mindless revenge is pure stupidity. 
It's, I think it's pretty great, actually. Rakesh, you... <laughs> Human, do you have anything important to add to this conversation? Merhaba. <laughs> <laughs> you speak of how Rakesh helped you in Shapir. You are fortunate, Rakesh. To have to say, defender of your honor. <laughs> Human, you may leave our presence now. I wish to speak further to Rakesh. <laughs> oh, nice. Auto saves. Yeah, wow. it does auto saves, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tell Raja farewell. Get the fuck out! <laughs> <laughs> Raja has excellent taste in personal servants. Oh, are we a little furry, are we? <laughs> okay, Bashir. Raja does not seem to be as large as Rakesh, but he does look like he has fought more. He does not look as noble as some lion tours, but he does look tough. It's because he's a dick. <laughs> Your good friend Rakesh stands before his king. It's a huge brass urn. Either that or the lion tours have recently taken up Chawn Tabaki. Can you talk to Rakesh here? Oh. <laughs> Get the human out of here! <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Is this human going out of his way to insult me? I am the king, human. You shall speak only to me in my chambers. <laughs> Enough Ask already. Ask about Raja. Oh. Get him out of here! Beat it, loser! Ask him oh, about the Raja, go. yeah. Out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> I'll let it go, but I just... Uh... I've had enough of this human, Rakesh. Make him leave, or I'll have him thrown out of Tarna. Please leave us now. I will be at Kreesh's house later if you wish to speak to me. <laughs> now, I feel like there was one that I did not... Oh. Oh, nice. That's the autosave. Stop the thief! Uh, this is... The, okay. Get him! Oh, that was the da-da-ding of... Okay, to the Hall of Judgment. Please accompany us to the Hall of Judgment. Yeah, big hey, deal. big deal. So I'm hey, big deal. I'm honorless. What is that? Who cares? <laughs> her lion titties are, like, right up by her chin. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I aided the them. The Prince of Shapir aided my guards in the capture of the Honorless One. Did they say that last time, or did I mess no. up by no, going too I... fast? Oh. The Council of Judgment commends the Prince of Shapir's actions on behalf of Tana and thanks him. My voice is different this time because this is a different <laughs> continuity. <laughs> King Raja orders Rakesh and the Prince of Shapir to meet with him in his chambers immediately. I didn't miss points, right? Uh, I, mean, I, I think just that before reload. you missed points because we didn't we didn't run. Okay. So, so this, this will be better. optimal. You can, and we can, you know, get that piece of dialogue we missed about uh, Rashaka. Yeah. Yeah. This is my friend. You know what? Okay. Clown time. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want me to do first? Well, so you go through the we'll whole start, like start greeting, answer question. Yeah. Okay. You need a human to speak up for you now, Rakesh. I do not need to defend myself to you of all people, Raja. Oh shit, get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Rakesh, you of anyone should be demanding war instead of talking about peace. Rishaka is lost. Your own daughter has been killed by the leopard men. Do you not want revenge, you pussy? <laughs> the truth of what happened to Rishaka has not been determined. When I know for certain about Rishaka, I will deal with the matter myself. I do not need all of Tarna to suffer the horrors of war for my daughter. Revenge for the sake of revenge is pointless. You... <laughs> Aaron, do you have anything important, anything useful to add to this gripping conversation? Talk about Shavir. <laughs> <laughs> that is an interesting tale for a human to tell. 
Human, you may leave now. <laughs> wow, so interesting, so cool. Wow, really impressed. Now get out of here. <laughs> I am the one speaking to you. Keep your responses addressed to me, not to my hot babes. <laughs> oh, shit, sorry. Oh, oh, go back and re let's read that again. Yeah, yeah. You, miss? you do not speak to my servants in my presence, fool. Human, you may leave our presence now. I wish to ever speak to at least further to Rakish. I am the one speaking to you. Rakish, can you in how can you endure such an idiot? <laughs> there are many fools in the world, Raja, and most have no clue when they behave foolishly. <laughs> like you. You are deliberately insulting me. I will not stand for this. Leave my presence immediately. Get the human out of here. Get him out right, of here. No, I'll do it better. Because I got to <laughs> defend my boy. Oop. <laughs> I clicked on him to... Because I was trying to talk about him. You're fortunate. You may leave now. So now I say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay no, now, good save. now we have now we have a safe, clean, yes. respectful continuity, where we certainly didn't make fun of the Raja. <laughs> now I do have some bad news when it comes to points. Um, uh -oh. It is uh, impossible to get all uh, 500 points in this game unless you're uh, playing a very particular class. Oh, that's uh, fine. If I can't, because, if I, like, it can't when, be helped. Yeah, um, they they did when they uh, made the point totals, they, they basically did not account for the fact that there are points for alternate solutions, like mutually exclusive mm. solutions. Okay. Oh my god, are we almost at full speed? <laughs> <laughs> you enter into a huge hall dominated by what must be a statue of Sekhmet. The air is smoky and filled with the odor of strange spices. You feel as if someone or something is watching you. Oh, oh god, that music is so scary. Like, what? <laughs> it sounds like something's about to happen. Oop, what makes you think that? I need to do that. I'm worried that I accidentally saved over Fuck the King, but that's fine. <laughs> Just want that one for posterity. The major feature of this temple room is the giant stone statue of a lion's whore. It's positively awesome, and I'm not lying. Ugh, if I leave, it, will it be okay? Uh, you want to basically uh, come into this room. No, no, I mean, like, uh, just because I had that save file, do I just have to do whatever I'm going to do here then? Yeah, you might as well. Okay. Let's, I wish I hadn't done that. It was an accident. The acolytes keep the sacred oil flames burning at all times. They illuminate the lion tour statue with an eerie glow, making it seem almost alive. This brazier is burning sweet smelling wood and incense. Uh oh, I can't see what time of day it is in here. Yeah, you no, I guess it's on the outside. Not? Oh. Oh. Oh, never. Hey there. Oh. How dare a human defile the sanctity of the Temple of Sekhmet! Be gone! <laughs> female lion tour. Oh, you see a haughty female lion tour. From the richness of her ceremonial garb, you recognize her as the High Priestess of Sekhmet. <laughs> Leave this temple before the goddess Sekhmet herself smites you for this blasphemy. Oh! The statue starts to move. Uh oh, the truck have started to move. David. <laughs> In my temple, you will speak only my words, not your own, beloved. Human, doer, changer of worlds, releaser of darkness, thou hast not yet been judged, and a future cannot yet be weighed. Am I the releaser of darkness? Because I, I feel like I unreleased <laughs> that darkness. Yet thou hast already created a future of weal or woe. Should it be woe, then the towers of Tarna will fall, and the blood of my Liantar people will flood the savannah. 
For the darkness before us rises from the darkness behind you, and you must confront that darkness. Yet more I cannot see, until you are judged. Leave us now, and return with the gem of the Guardian. You shall then be weighed and judged, and a future can be seen. When you have been judged, we will reveal a future for you to make, or unmake. <laughs> all right. Oh, well, now it's night well, that took that took all day. And I still didn't get my money changed. I can't wait to tell Rakesh and Krisha <laughs> about my day. Hi. <laughs> You do not belong here, human. Leave immediately. I guess I don't really get to talk to her. Yeah, but you do, you know, have, you know, a quest objective there. So Look, it's it's not is it not as dark now or is it more dark? It's perceived. It's getting darker. Oh, I'm going as fast as my little legs can carry me. <laughs> Is the money Just changer imagine. closed now? You can check, but they're probably closed. If the first screen of the bazaar is, like, empty, then you know it's too late. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm um, also just of note, you can go south in the bazaar screen tomorrow to see more merchants. Okay. Oops, <laughs> that is not the end. Is it there? It's the or double do double doors. Oh, the double doors. Okay. What if the pyramid was the end, though? <laughs> <laughs> Real Las Vegas vibes. I, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> the flame of the candle lights up the room. Your room is spacious and comfortable. A large, empty, decorative pot. So that chest is like a stash. The huge chest That's looks good. like a good place to store those things you don't really need to carry around everywhere. I could have used that for some of my, uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> All your vast riches. Piles of cash, yeah. The bed looks soft and comfortable. You have a nice view of the city and the savannah beyond from this window. That looks nice. You see curtains used to keep the mosquitoes away from you at night. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Splat. <laughs> Just like in Quest for Glory 1. Yes, I'm glad we brought the Splat sleep back. <laughs> God, he couldn't even take his clothes off. He's just fully clothed. And they didn't yeah. even close the curtains, so, you know. <laughs> You're all mosquito bitten. Real rookie shit here. Let's try again, shall we? Chest is empty. Time to oh there we go. I was gonna say time to get another free meal that I can't pay for. <laughs> Min max in your meals. <laughs> yeah. Just charge it to Krisha. <laughs> I mean Krisha should be paying for my meals. It's kinda crazy that she's not. Good day, friend of paladins and kings. Yes, that's me. How best may I serve you? Well, well. You Can know, I play I pay in flirtations? Do. Oh, it is not just the room you are with your sunshine. Oh, prince of passion, your words inflame my cheeks and other places. She's talking oh. about her titties. <laughs> <laughs> you order a meal. I'll bring your meal right out. Mwah. I need to look at my stats. It always bothers me that there's nothing on the plates. I know that, like, they didn't <laughs> even try. He's the only one that has food. This is for a fat joke. Here is your feast. May it please you. you. Bring out your money to pay for your meal. I'm sorry, he who travels far and still has the wrong <laughs> fucking currency. I cannot accept strange <laughs> coin. I kind of want you just to keep a bag of dinars and just offer those to her every time. <laughs> That's actually a great idea because I was like, I wonder if I can make sure I never pay for a meal somehow, but I'm going to need money. <sighs> That's 
the fact that they're not even trying to make up weird foods they're just like it's weird but it tastes pretty good for yeah. weirdo food okay so it's got to go all the way across mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. back to the bazaar all right well i can't do much with you guys please try not to talk to me thank you okay you see an elderly but distinguished looking man wearing a turban. Lahadak <sighs> Saeed Effendi, good day. I am the money changer. Dahab Khalis. Do you wish to exchange some foreign coin for the money of Tarna? Dahab is gold. Khalis is like, <laughs> like all out of or it's done. If I'm reading correctly in English what they were going for in Arabic. Wow. Um, so far, a downgrade from uh, Dollarina. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> see. Ooh, ask about rumors. Ask about what? Rumors. Oh, okay. <laughs> May you have a good day as well, Affendi. <laughs> <laughs> One more for all time's sake. I'll trade foreign money for the money of Tarna. For this, I must charge a fee of 10% the amount exchanged. I also will trade 100 commons for one royal. I don't suppose I can bargain anymore, can I? You can definitely bargain in this game, and it's a lot easier to do uh, in this game. But I don't okay. think you can bargain with the money changer. Okay. How do you tell about the money changer? It's good to hear such news of Shapir. My family and I moved here many years ago from Rasir. Oh, that's why his name is Dahab Khalis. He came from Rasir, <laughs> where he was poor. <laughs> okay, let's see. My wife has told me that her friend has said that she heard about somebody who saw someone with eyes that glowed red at night. Man, you guys really thought you were getting out of the, like, <laughs> Suha critiques and tries to, uh... <laughs> no, <laughs> tries I, was, to understand I was still worried process. about this one. <laughs> <laughs> they just kept it going. They just moved out of my area and into, like, my friend's <laughs> area. Uh, okay. I am well, and my daughter has recently gifted me with my first grandson, so I am happy also. That's nice. Already told. Yeah, yeah, okay. But say no. Say no to what? Uh, asking about offering you money-changing services. I think you can also just, like, show him your coin purse. You tell the money-changer you don't exchange money. Oh, alas, perhaps another time, Effendi. May you have a good day Perhaps. as well, Effendi. <laughs> Perhaps another time. Effendi! <laughs> Do you want me to okay. put your Saurus away for you too, Effendi? <laughs> Royal's worth a dinar of Shapir, okay? There are a hundred commons to one royal. I think I asked yeah about him, okay. Nope, nope. There we go. I'll trade for money, etc., etc. I guess I just have to give it to him. Oh, that is my money, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess I just had to do it all. Ktir Khayarak Mamnum Effendi. Many thanks. I think they fucked whatever this was supposed to be up. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Is it Ketir or Ktir? Hold on a second. That's not a word, Effendi. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but Keterkherak is like something you say, uh, just like when people do you a favor. More like Keterkherak Majnun, am I right? <laughs> oh, a, a plus for effort. That was a, that's a tough one. <laughs> Let me see if I can put it in Google Translate. I'm so sorry. That's sick. It's for, the, it's for the trivia. Oh, yeah. I, it just is thank you, I guess. But it's a... It doesn't literally mean thank you. Uh, but it means thank you. <laughs> I guess that's done. Now you can go shopping. Wait a minute. Didn't I have way more money before? 
Uh, they, they put a cap a little bit on like how much money you can bring into this game. Wait a minute. I thought, oh, he took his little 10%, didn't he? Yeah, but um, <sighs> I, I will say that you pretty much have enough money to uh, buy everything you'll possibly need. Okay, good. Ooh, Jumbo. Now that's not uh, any kind of hair pick. <laughs> I do not gossip, do not. Guana. Sorry, you go ahead, David. <laughs> uh, let's see. The price I will charge you will depend upon the item. I make things from leather. The lips are. I have so many animal on. hides and leather <laughs> items for sale, as you can see. It really changes this whole vibe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I not buy anything? Oh, okay. Should I have another water skin? Uh, they do come in handy. What is this? Zebra skin what? Just a zebra skin. It's like just to hide. Do I want that? Uh, you'll eventually want a zebra skin. You don't know why. Okay. Ah, crap. <laughs> Didn't even try to barter. I know. Oh, uh, fool. Who jumbo? Marhaba. Buana. <laughs> Missouri Buana. Oh, uh, that's weird. Why can't I bargain? You have, you have to click you on have to something select first. The item. Oh, okay. Let me just make sure I... Oh, he doesn't gossip. Okay. He's all about just leathering. How much are you going to offer him? Now, um, is there like a rule about how this works? <laughs> um, like, basically, I think it's a threshold within your communication. Uh, some NPCs are going to be very strict about how much they will accept, and other ones are going to be very lenient. So I find that overall, uh, their personality has more to do with the prices they'll accept than your communication stat. Okay. That is too that low. That is too low. Don't tell me that 197 is what he'll take. That, that is like what he his compromise to you. Okay, let's try that. That is still this. too low. <laughs> <laughs> he went down one penny. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> oh, you're not even gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> That is too low. God, what a loser. Fine. It is good. <laughs> you have to unclick the water skin, I think. Okay. May oh, no. you have to click new item. That's what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is too low. <laughs> That is still too low. It is okay. good. <laughs> he did give me one off, at least. Now you have to purchase it. That means... Did I purchase the water skin? I don't think yeah. so, no. Did you? Okay. Well, that, was the, that was the 196. Yeah, but I don't think I purchased okay. it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you you, know, you got the little dingle, so you, 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 you got it now. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, that's right. It was a note from Shima. Am I okay for an hour? Do I need to like put that zebra hide in my room? Uh, I, I think you're fine for now because you've got you're not anywhere near your carry limit. But uh, okay. it's probably going to be a while before you need it. Okay. Superfile hides, a zebra skin rug. Of animal skins, a wolf basket. What's this guy doing? Uh, really? <laughs> Looks a bit like Amanhotep from The Mummy. What year did this come out? Uh, early 90s ish. Let me double check. It's probably referring to the like Universal Monster movie Mummy, not the oh, Brendan okay. Fraser Mummy. Okay. Sadly. Picture. 
<laughs> These are enormous wooden whatnots. Tray of brass. Basket this of fruit. This was 92. Oh, okay. Basket of oranges. Bunch of bananas. I would love some. Yes. Bananas, papayas, and pomegranates for sale. Will you not buy some fruit to fill your hunger for a traveler? Hell yeah, I will. Ah, what fruit do you desire? All that you could ever wish I have here. Pineapples, papayas, passion fruit, coconuts and limes, bananas, dates and oranges. Purchase and eat to your heart's delight. I think I will, Effendi. I think I will. Effendi. <laughs> the price of the fruit is a mere pittance compared to the pleasure the fruit gives. You may have six of the fruits of your choice for but 50 commons. Wow, what an excellent deal. I hope I can rip you off. I have heard tell from those who bring me fruit from the jungle that strange monsters now roam near the waterfall. Monsters even stranger than you can imagine. <laughs> me? How you doing, buddy? Alas, I am but a poor man today, for no one has had the pleasure of buying my fruits. <laughs> Laying it on a little thick there, don't you think? The heart Not seed. excited. <laughs> Effendi, may you have a fruitful day. Oh, fruitful, because he sold fruit. <laughs> oh, boy. I love your, you know, tradition of exhausting all possible conversation topics before saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a nice 50% off there, Effendi. Would you, wealthy beyond dreams, quibble with a poor man over a few <clears throat> commons? I would, and I'd do it again. <laughs> All right, let's. That's fine. <clears throat> I did go a little ambitious. Let's try like thirty-five. This is the <laughs> finest, freshest fruit you can buy. Surely, such quality demands some respect and more money. You know what? You're right. You're right. Um... <laughs> My children need sandals, and you quibble over mere commons. How can you cheat an honest merchant so cruelly? <laughs> What a baby. Did I do 40 already? Yeah, I think so. Damn. I think it was your last offer. Wow. <laughs> Please, I just... <laughs> you get to 49 and you're just like, you know what? Never mind. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save it real quick. I'm going to see what he says if I give him like a hundred. But you said that out loud. Well, I could give you 65, but no thanks. <laughs> All right, let's try this again, Effendi. I'm ready this time. Okay, let's just... Uh, oh. oh, you've already I, bargained for it. No. You exited out. Okay. Let's start. Let's start over. Hot excited. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Let's say hi again. Wow, it's like I, it's <laughs> like we're starting all the way over. <laughs> you don't mean know me. I don't know you. Yes, tell me about your fruit, please. Yes. Aww. You might have to exit and return to the screen. All right. Let's see. You come back with your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone's talking Want to me some again. more zebra skin? You probably have to talk to the fruit merchant first. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Tell me about I do fruit. desire some fruit. Hello, Hello, buddy. There we go. Okay. Hello there. there. My hair is not blonde. It's light golden brown. Oh, wait. I was going to see what happens if I give him, like, a <laughs> hundred. <laughs> wow, very well, Effendi. You will make me a poor man while you enjoy yourself with my fruits. <laughs> I, I thought... But, oh, I guess he says that no matter what you do. Yeah. yeah. A thousand thanks, and may you enjoy this this apple. Oops. Yeah, Alright, I guess we're gonna... 
So a, a, a thousand thanks. You know, he really wanted that centine uh, worth of yeah. commons. That is so funny. I love cheating these people. <laughs> it's very heroic of me. Well, there's plenty more stalls. Yeah, you can go south here. Yes, I you think can also I you will. can also now go to Sanford and Son. Yes. <laughs> You see a genuine imitation paper mache moose head, courtesy of the recycled prop department of Sierra Online. That's cute. You see some whatchamacallits and what a heck is it? You see a variety of salad oils. You see a greasy Ew. looking individual. That's he's greasy nice. because he's the oil salesman. That guy's sweet uh. because he sells honey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this the correct order. You greet the oil seller. David? It would be a good day for me only if you buy some oil, Effendi. <laughs> Otherwise, my day will be shit. <laughs> you should not make fun of your betters, Effendi. You're my better? <laughs> okay. Well, yes. you know what? I love the confidence. <laughs> Alright, we'll we'll try going for just fifty percent off. Suha, <laughs> does Zaytuni mean anything? <sighs> Zaytun is olive. Uh... <laughs> so Zaytuni is like I don't know, you know. I love um, you. Yes, thank you. If I accepted your offer, I would lose money. However, because you are such a fine man, I will make you a deal. Mm. He means handsome. <laughs> I see your two common discount, but would you consider making it 20 commons? <laughs> you seek still to beggar me. I cannot part with my precious oil for less than this. Now, is this changing my um, my communication at all in here? Or? I think that talking to people and uh, bartering uh, affects your communication stat. <laughs> Next, you will expect me to give my oil away for free. But because I am such a nice person and I like you, I will charge this for my oil. <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> if I accepted your offer, I would lose my entire living. Fine. Very well. You have out barkened me, and I shall remain a poor man forever. You're welcome. <laughs> Motherfucker, you took three cents off of this olive oil. May you slide easily and quickly through life, Effendi. <laughs> oh, David, I can't wait for her to meet the meat merchant. <laughs> oh my god. Don't eat, don't say that to me. I'm I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope it's for the reason I think, and it's not just a guy going, nice to meet you. <laughs> no, 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 it's not for the reason that you think either. Oh, disappoint. <laughs> I say goodbye. Do you not think you could use some more oil before you leave, Effendi? <laughs> Good, thank you. May you slither and slide your way <laughs> greasily through life. <laughs> Oil for cooking, fine foods, oil for sale. I love all these multifaceted <laughs> characters that have one personality traits. I wonder if, so, okay, if if the honey guy's name is Asad, A-S-S-A-L or something like that, then you'll know that he's named just the same way these other guys are. <laughs> uh, golden uh, sunshine go and the essence of flowers. I'm sorry, David. Stilled for you, <laughs> for you pleasure, Cindy. Let's say hi. Good day, Effendi. Good. I'm sorry. Good day, Effendi. Good day, indeed. I'm very sweet. Let's just make sure I don't embarrass myself here. <laughs> do the thing. Does this mean you do not like honey where you come from, Effendi? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All right. Let's talk to you for a little bit. The 
this honey is taken from the hives of wild bees, Fendi, might then travel all around the savannah watching for the honey bird to guide them to a hive. They stun the bees with smoke and take the honey. I strain it and bottle it and sell the work of five men for only 80 commons. He bats his eyelashes. <laughs> The wild bees nest near the tops of the trees. They are very dangerous, for they will easily sting a man to death. Hee <laughs> The honeybird loves honey, Effendi. He tries to get people in the savannah to follow him to a hive. There he will wait for the person to rob the hive and leave the honeybird a gift of honey. When the person is gone, the honeybird flies down and eats the sticky golden honey. A most useful and cunning little bird is the honeybird, Effendi. This bazaar is the only place in Tarna where you can buy my fine honey. And here my honeyed tones. The wild bees of the jungle near the Great Waterfall are abandoning their hives and flying off. This is a very bad sign, Fendi. I really care about the bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a most delightful day today, is it not, Fendi? I love your read of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's see. Uh, All right, time did to you call, Did you call it or did you call it? <laughs> oh my name. God, his name is awesome. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> These people are so... <laughs> one playbook <laughs> god damn it they will stick to it all right all right now, this is gonna be the game now <laughs> everybody's names it's this, they weren't they did do it in the last one but it wasn't this bad <laughs> oh my god asad's honey stand all right mr asad let's go oops i accidentally right clicked immediately somehow let's try that again I am but a poor man, and my honey costs but a few commons. Surely you can afford to pay this? No, I don't think so. You're not actually giving me anything. The jar which contains the honey costs that alone. Surely you wish to pay for the honey as well as the jar? No, actually. <laughs> Surely you do not seek to cheat an honest honey seller out of a few commons, Effendi. <laughs> I'm just a little bit of a honey sour. <laughs> oh, I am but a poor man, and my honey costs but a few commons. Surely you can afford to pay this, he says, eyeing my huge purse. Okay. They're really, they're not letting me get away with shit. No, <laughs> your communication is not high enough, unfortunately. Oh. That will do nicely, good sir. You are most generous and kind, Fendi. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Wowie zowie. <laughs> Alright, I've already tried to show them. Oh, actually, I've not showed that guy, but I'll do that in a minute. <clears throat> Look at this stuff. You ever see any better partially used items anywhere? I thought you were calling it mostly new. Will you just get out of here and let me handle this, dummy? Just look around. Have you ever seen such quality used items gather anywhere? Every one is a guaranteed anachronism. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Pop, don't you mean antique? I know what I mean. You keep out of this. As I was saying, they're all real antiques that you won't be able to buy anywhere else, so get them here. Fine. Hello. What can we sell you today? I love that they're not interested in my greeting at all. <laughs> Oh, those are junk goods? Yeah, use junk. Wh why can't I bargain? Uh, might Good be question. Okay. Yeah. There we there go. go. You have got to be kidding. For this genuine, guaranteed, no money back antique, I can't accept less than 200 commons. Pop, it's only a tinderbox. Who's a dummy around here, dummy? Any rate, I'll accept 200 commons for the item. Look, I'll make you a deal for this. 
Okay, oh, God it's a damn deal. It. Oh no! <laughs> I usually. <laughs> what do you mean it's okay? You want us to lose all our money, dummy? I'm coming, Lisbeth. I'm coming soon. Our only son is trying to give away all the things we worked for. This is it. It's the big one. Oh, pop. Damn it, I I folded too quickly. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. You're always welcome back if you want to buy something. We can still bargain okay. for the Blackbird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just gotta make sure we really undercut him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, that Blackbird is worth more than that. You're right, son. You, I need a few royals more. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that. You trying <laughs> to cheat me or something? This thing is clearly worth a lot more royals than that. Ah, uh, come on, Pop. That's not a bad offer. That's why I'm the owner of this stuff and you're just the dummy, dummy. You, I refuse to sell that wonderful blackbird for anything less. You gotta be kidding. This is the only blackbird in this part of East Fricana. You won't be able to buy it anywhere, at least not at the prices you're offering. Why don't you try another offer? Did it go up? <laughs> oh, hey, I... look, that blackbird is worth more than that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think so, maybe, but... Wow. <sighs> wow, they really won't do it. <laughs> That's it. You got the blackbird. Thanks. So I saved, what, two? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Um... Okay, we're kind of getting somewhere. Yeah, your communication's yeah. going pretty far up. That's good. Bashir <laughs> Hajari. 